Hello folks, this is Aitana Jha from InspireToRise.com and today we have the Motorola's Moto G 2015 or the Moto G3 here with us for a full unboxing as well as review of the Moto G3. The device that we have is a 16 GB third generation Motorola Moto G and you can see more of the details on the box as in here and let's just see the back of the box and it just summarizes all of the features in a small uh, quick preview and now I guess it's the time that we unbox this box and see what's inside so inside the box we have the Motorola's Moto G smartphone the latest addition to the Moto family and it really looks good and in feels good in the hand also let us just move forward to what's inside the box so inside the box you get a USB adapter which in this case is detachable so this is the uh, this is one of the welcome additions to the Motorola's charging cable because uh, earlier we had the earlier that the charger we had did not have a removable cable and this time we have two two slots for uh, plugging in the USB cable so that's a really good uh, welcome move by Motorola and let us just see what's more inside the box inside the box we have the customary earbud designed uh, earphones by Motorola and uh, this is one of the few uh, comps that we had with Motorola that they always use this type of earphones and not the in-ear style which many users prefer and apart from that what else do you get there is a small uh, thing to keep the USB cables inside and you have the readme in Hindi and you have the warranty card and everything Motorola limited warranty and so that's all that is inside the box now let us just tinker more with the smartphone so this is the Moto G 2015 the Moto G3 that we have with us over here and uh, let us just see it in a closer look so on a closer look you can see the front camera over here the earpiece over here and the bottom grill there is the speaker and uh, the look and feel of the device is great enough the back has a really nice textured finish and uh, feels really premium and the camera is on a single unit metallic unit with a dual tone flash and apart from that you have the small hole over here for the microphone for the camera for audio and uh, here is the 3.5 mm jack and you have the USB uh, mini micro usb port over here and uh, let us just open the back to show you what's more inside the smartphone so the battery is non removable but still let us just see what's inside so here you have a sim 2 slot sim 1 and you even have a micro sd slot so that's really one of the good things about this and the phone is ipx7 waterproof the Moto G3 comes with Android 5.1.1 Android Lollipop out of the box and Android 5 uh, which is the Android version Lollipop uh, is present on this and Android version 6 the Android M Android Marshmallow is out right now and we expect that the Motorola Moto G 2015 would get the update as soon as it's made official or within a month or so and uh, that was all about the system and let us just show you more things about the smartphone there are few features which are really uh, characteristic uh, of the Motorola Moto G 2015 for example we have the chop chop feature which activates the flashlight and apart from that you can just chop again to switch it and you can flick the wrist to open the camera So this opens the, the flick wrist gesture opens the camera and uh, it works really cool enough. And now it's the time to test the camera quality and clarity of the device. Let us just show you few of the sample pictures that we took with this. The Moto G 2015 has a 13 megapixel back camera and a 5 megapixel front camera which would be enough for most of the normal smartphone users needs and let us just show you few of the pictures that we took. So this is a picture, this is a macro shot of a grasshopper that we had uh, in our room and the details are really uh, okay enough, not that clear and the camera had a little trouble focusing while the uh, while the grasshopper was within, within a really close range but apart from that the color reproduction is ex excellent and uh, we also have a 
other shots that we took for example this is a shot of a hand on resting on a bed sheet so the colors come came out really good and they are really true to life colors and these are some people who click their pictures and uh, overall color reproduction is great enough and the camera does uh, bring out detail in pictures Mohul Ghosh from track.in and a lot of other people visible over here so all in all it's a great camera and the best part of about this camera is that it works great in daylight conditions and uh, even in low light conditions it brings out ok pictures not as great as the Asus Zenfone 2 but still ok pictures in uh, normal daylight conditions and uh, the front camera is also good enough but uh, in case you are shooting in really low light conditions the front camera does not live up to the mark so let us now just test the Antutu benchmark on the smartphone and we will give you a detailed idea about how well the phone performs the phone has a 5 inch display with a 67% screen to body ratio it has a resolution of 1280 to 720p which is translates to roughly 294 ppi and comes with Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection the phone comes with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 410 chipset which has a quad core 1.4 GHz Cortex A53 CPU and an Adreno 306 GPU and it supports micro SD expansion up to 32 GB and comes with two variants one is the 8 GB variant with 1 GB of RAM and the other is 16 GB storage variant with 2 GB of RAM the 16 GB variant is a better value for money option as it uh, retails for a price of 13,000 rupees and apart from that it is capable of shooting full HD videos at 30 frames per second and comes with HD HDR and the secondary camera also comes with automatic HDR it supports Bluetooth version 4.0 and it supports GPS and apart from that it has ambient light sensor accelerometer proximity sensor and uh, it also supports a lot of other features and a uh, flag player flag is the free lossless audio codec and uh, the battery is a non removable lithium ion 2470 mAh battery but still it's one of the best batteries uh, it's still one of the best battery performing phones out there because we use this phone for around one day and a half on moderate usage and even on extreme usage this phone would last you throughout the day and the, because of the fact that the phone has zero bloatware and comes with a really customized Android experience so we have started the 3d test on the Antutu benchmark and the frames per second is in the range of 3.645 and it uh, does not go well beyond this so that's one of the problematic things and uh, let us just see what this final score comes out as we are just waiting for the final score to come down till then let us just uh, tell you more about the smartphone it charges in around one and a half to two hours and uh, and does not take that much time to work and it has the same camera module as the Google Nexus 6 so uh, that's one of the good things and uh, the overall optimization has been done well but still it would be better if you use the Google camera app apart from the normal official camera app provided by Motorola and so right now we got the score of 23905 which is even below the Xiaomi Mi2 and if you just look carefully at the details multitask score, runtime, CPU integer, CPU float point so these are the scores for the Antutu benchmark but when you buy a phone like this when you buy a smartphone like this the benchmark score is not the only criteria for judging the smartphone the overall fluidity of the OS the overall performance and everything the look and feel of the device as well as the camera and the battery life are few of the things that take precedence when you buy a smartphone like the Moto G 2015 so let us just test few more things about the smartphone we will do a quick gaming review also but let us just show you the inards of the smartphone and the temperature after running the test so it's okay it's not it does not heat up that much it's okay on the back a little warm but not that much warm and the uh, system as you can see the details about the system over here Moto G3 2GB RAM so that was all about the Moto G3 and let us just show you a little bit more and we will learn a few more things on the device and which is one of the best features and that is the Moto Assist 
actions and display so the motor display notifies you at a glance you just keep your smartphone in a lying position and uh, as soon as you pick up the motor display comes up with your notifications and everything the actions we already showed you double karate chop for torch and twist for quick capture and the assist motorola assist is the welcome guide for you uh, you can add activities like sleeping in a meeting etc and it would guide you throughout the day was able to run the 4K HD video with ease despite the fact that it does not have a really high end processor so that speaks volumes about how much optimization has gone in it and the phone the phone module the people all uh, all of the people almost use their smartphones for calling and everything and we found out the call clarity to be great the earpiece feels uh, fits snugly against the ear one of the bad things that we found in the design is that the Moto G2 had dual stereo speakers while the Moto G3 has sing sound coming from a single source which is the below speaker let us just uh, play a song to give you a better idea about this so let us just play a song that we have So this is the full volume even on full volume you're not getting any sound from here so the stereo speaker factor from the Moto G2 is lost this time around so that's one of the bad things but still the overall volume is great and the placing of the speaker in front makes it a really uh, great choice for the speaker placement so we are testing the Geekbench 3 and uh, we will just show you the final scores. So this is the Geekbench 3 score that we have, single core score and the multi core score. <laughs> Greater selling point for this device is the fact that it comes with pure vanilla Android experience. And the fact that it runs really smooth without any lag. Let us just run a really heavy game for you guys. I guess it is that part of the video which most of my viewers dread. Wherein I do a gaming test and I perform it. And I really play the game badly. Today I will try to do my best and not play it badly. This is my first wreck. Please forgive me folks, I'm just trying, I'm trying like everyone else, else out there. So this is my second wreck, no this was not a wreck, I just actually knocked down a car. I feel so accomplished right now. So as is visible, this is a really heavy game and the phone is able to run it without any considerable effort. That was really great even though I am just at 5th position let me try something fancy I am still alive so I guess this worked out well but the phone from the back is a little bit heated up right now we will test the temp temperatures soon enough so I guess this much gaming is enough let us just test the temperature immediately So the Moto G3 performed well enough in the uh, in the test and did not heat up as much as much as many other smartphones out there. Let us just test the Nina Mark II on this smartphone and so the final score came out to be 55.8 FPS, which is uh, considerably way below than the 60 FPS score than that we saw in many other great smartphones out there. But still, for uh, a smartphone of this price range, it's really great and. All in all, the Moto G3 is a really decent performer. The overall look and feel and build of this device is really great. Isn't it? it is IPX7 waterproof certified and it can stay under 1 meter water for around 30 minutes. That in itself is a testimonial to the build quality. The, the phone feels really solid in hand. And who should buy this smartphone? Anyone looking for a really great vanilla Android experience for a price of 13,000 rupees and uh, who don't want to spend too much on a phone and they just want a phone which works well and great just out of the box and has a good enough camera they should look for the Moto G3 and uh, 
does it fare well against the other competitors in the 13,000 price range like the Xiaomi's Mi 4i or the Infocus M810 or many other smartphones like that? So it all boils down to a very single choice. Do you want a phone that is really free of bloatware and performs really good out of the box? Then just go for the Moto G3. It's a no-brainer. But if you want a really out of the box really great camera and if you want a really uh, great performing smartphone uh, which comes with a single one page UI or something uh, which is uh, somewhat reminiscent of the iOS platform and allows you a lot more customization options then you should look for the Mi 4i or other smartphones but still the Moto G3 still rules the roost with its good quality display with its amazing sound quality call clarity and the really good back camera as well as the front front camera so guys this is Aitana Jha from inspiretorise.com signing off don't forget to hit like on this video don't forget to subscribe to our channel folks stay inspired to rise